हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू अक्षर आईटी फाउंडेशन क्लासेस दिस इज गफर मोहम्मद योर फिजिक्स फैकल्टी लेट्स स्टार्ट अवर सेशन इन द लास्ट क्लास वी कंप्लीटेड अबाउट द डायमेंशंस ओके टुडे आल्सो वी रिलेटेड टू द सेम काइंड सो लेट्स स्टार्ट दैट सो ऑलरेडी आई एक्सप्लेन दैट फंडामेंटल क्वांटिटीज ओके सो एंड आल्सो आई एक्सप्लेन दैट डिरेड क्वांटिटीज now what are these uh, dimensions and dimension formulas these dimensions and dimension formulas nothing but expressing any physical quantity in terms of fundamental quantity is known as dimensions and dimension formula that is called dimensional analysis so let's see how to write uh, dimension formulas and how to know dimensions of physical quantity and how to find dimensional equations so here three points sir uh, specifically we need to emphasize one is dimension formula second one is dimensions third one is dimensional equation but what is these all are this all are nothing but expressing any physical quantity in terms of fundamental quality is known as dimensional analysis <coughs> got children let's uh, <coughs> let's write first of all let's write first of all fundamental quantities you know fundamental quantities how many are there so no, first let me write uh, first here let me write first here first physical quantity is mass second one is length mass length time time fourth one is temperature temperature fifth one is amount of substance amount of all substance amount of substance sixth one is <coughs> current current seventh one is luminous intensity luminous intensity so these are these seven are called fundamental qualities understand in the physics uh, science part we only having fundamental quantities how many only these seven now what is mean by dimensional analysis children a dimensional analysis nothing but writing any quantity <coughs> either it is derived or it is fundamental in terms of fundamental quality is known as dimensional analysis and it is dimensional analysis we have terms like uh, dimensions dimensional formula and dimensional equation this you can understand by taking an example directly you can't understand properly by using the example by using an example we can explain clearly about this dimensional equations dimension formulas and dimensional analysis so i'll take the example you know the best example explaining for this for this dimensional equation or dimensional analysis is let small quantities must take you know well very well known quantity you know that area area is a quantity physical quantity because it has a unit right so i am taking that i am taking that here i am taking the area <coughs> so here i am taking the area here area area is a physical quantity where it has a physical quantity to find that actually area is a derived quantity isn't it derived quantity means you can get this derived quantity by fundamental quantities but what are the fundamental quantities involved here the involved fundamental quantities are length into breadth length into breadth so here finally what is the conclusion the area formula is length into breadth as well as units are meter square 
units are meter square because here length units meter and uh, this bed units also meter so combinedly the area units become meter square it is a si unit understand children now let us write let us write this area this area in terms of in terms of fundamental quantity that is our intention now so every time whenever you are writing derived sorry dimensional formula or dimensionals you must show the physical quantity in the square bracket so i am showing here i am taking example here area is example so i am taking area in a square bracket so that is a that is a area and here a area so i wish to write this area in terms of fundamental quantities so the fundamental area length into length length into breadth this is length this is length so here mass contribution is zero length contribution is two time contribution is zero so this is your dimensional formula or dimensional analysis writing this way is nothing but dimensional analysis and writing this way is called dimensional formula look at here in this just uh, look at here carefully here this total complete equation is called dimensional equation this complete equation is called what dimensional dimensional equation and here this only this part only this part is known as dimensional formula dimensional formula and here one more important thing is the powers raised the powers raised for the fundamental quantities the powers raised for the fundamental quantities are known as dimensions these powers are called powers powers raised raised for fundamental quantities fundamental quantities is known as dimensions understand the powers raised in the dimension formula okay of the fundamental quantities is known as what what can powers powers are nothing but dimensions so this is the way we can express dimensional equation dimension formula as well as dimension i hope you got clarity so let me give one more example such that you will get more clarity here i'll give one more one more thing further i'll take one more easiest quantity i'll take one more easiest quantity is volume understand children volume is a one more easiest quantity i'm taking one more equation here volume so volume you know volume formula length into breadth into height length into breadth into height length into breadth into height is the volume formula now when when the volume formula is length into breadth into height what is the units yes you are right the units are meter cube because length is meter breadth is meter h also meter so totally meter cube so that way simply we can write the formulas by using the i mean you can write the units by using the formulas now children see here now children see here now we have to write dimensional 
formula, dimensional equations. This physical quantity you need to express in terms of dimensional formulas, in terms of fundamental quantities. It's nothing but dimensional equation, right? Let's write. Let's write here. So every time, whenever you want to write a dimensional formula, you keep it in mind. You must write in a square bracket. So I'm writing here the volume, volume in a square bracket. So here, how much is the mass contribution? There is a no mass contribution. Means mass power is zero. And what is the length contribution here? The contribution of length is what? Three. And time contribution is zero. So finally, this is the dimension formula. In this, in this, you know, this totally is called this total complete equation is called dimensional equation. Yes. And you know what is this? Yes, you are right. Just now I told that. Yes, you are right. It is dimensional equation. What is that? Dimensional. Sorry, sorry. This is called dimensional formula, and this is called dimensional equation. And these powers, powers, powers are called dimensional dimensions of the physical quantity. So, whose dimensions of the physical quantity here? The volume dimensions. Now, tell me, children, why here mass contribution is zero? Because in the volume there is a no mass, no mass contribution, right? No mass term, right? That is the reason mass power is zero. Why we are having length power three? Because the volume is expressing the dimensions, isn't it? It, it is representing parameters. What kind of parameter it involves? The volume is a physical quality. What kind of parameter it is involved? Length into breadth into height. That kind of parameter. But that related to length. So length contribution is present in the volume. So I think you got it. What is I am telling? Now I'll take one more example. One more example. I'll take one more example here. The one more example is a like different way. No, the different way is velocity. I'll take. What is that? Velocity. Now, if this is a velocity, what is the formula for velocity? The formula for velocity, you know very well, displacement. Displacement per time. Displacement by time. See, by <coughs> by observing the formula, you can say what is the units, isn't it? Yeah, displacement units are meter per second. Yes, you are right, meter per second. Displacement is meter, and time units are second. So, combinedly, meter per second is the units for the velocity. Now my intention is to write the dimension formula. Now how do you write dimension formula here? The dimension formula easily you can write. Go step by step. What is the step by step? First, what supposed to do? You must write this is in a square bracket. Velocity. So after writing that, what is the thing? By observing the formula, what is the mass contribution? What is the length contribution? What is the time contribution? What are the fundamental contribution? Fundamental physical contribution. You must raise the power. So here, no mass contribution. So mass power raised as zero. And any length contribution? Yes, we have meter. So mass length contribution is one. And any time contribution? Yes, t power minus one. So this is the formula for what? This is the formula for what? Yeah, velocity, and this totally called equation, dimension equation. This is called dimension formula, and this powers raised for the fundamental quantities is known as what dimensions. Now I'll take one more example. The one more example is, yeah, I think you getting clear, getting clear what I'm explaining. Now let us take acceleration. 
acceleration. So here acceleration is formula, you see the acceleration formula, velocity, simple formula I am writing, velocity by time, simple formula I am writing, simplest formula I am writing, velocity by time. You know velocity in its meter per second and time in its second. So combinedly it will give meter per second square is a units per what? Units per what? Acceleration. Now you have the formula and you have the uh, units also. Now how do you write dimensional equation, dimension formula and how to express the dimension? Yeah, look at here. You know, I think you got it how to write acceleration. Acceleration. So now this acceleration, how much is the mass contribution? There is no mass contribution. Then when no mass contribution is present, how much is the power raised in the dimension formula? The power raised in the dimension formula is zero. How much is the length contribution? So how much is the length raised power? The length power is raised by one. Similar way, how much is the time power is raised? Time power raised by minus two. So that 10 power, I mean time power minus two. So this is the way to express the dimensional formula for acceleration. Children, I will give one more example. That one more example is, uh, one more example is uh, force. If I take force, uh, simple formula force is a simple formula. We have a force, a simple formula. Force formula is mass into acceleration. Mass into acceleration. When this is a mass into acceleration, what is the dimension formula? What is the dimension formula? We can write dimension formula. Force you can write here because don't apply force anywhere. Okay, force, force here, mass here. See, we have a mass contribution, so m power one. You know acceleration contribution, acceleration dimension formula, m power zero, l power one, t power minus two. So you'll get as l power one, t power minus two. So this is the way we can write a dimension formula for what? dimension formula for what? The physical quantities. I hope you got, got it children. I will give one more example. The one more example, let us take uh, momentum. One more example. One more example is what? Momentum. So here, momentum also very simple formula. Mass into velocity. Okay, momentum means mass into velocity. So, when it is mass into velocity, what is the, what is the uh, units? Kg meter per second is the units. <coughs> Kg meter per second is units. After knowing this value, how do you write the dimension formula? Yes, momentum, momentum is equal to what is that momentum is equal to kg means m power 1 we have and meter means l power we have and per second per second means then it will have the power minus 1. So this is the dimension formula. Here this is the moment of dimension formula. Mass contribution is power is raised how much? 1. Length raised how much power? 1. Time raised the power minus 1. This is the way we can express the, uh, fun, I mean, dimension of uh, physical qualities. Similar manner, even we can express the same dimension formulas for fundamental qualities also. I will show how it is. See, you know fundamental quantities, fundament, first fundamental quantity is mass. So if I take mass, uh, that mass, how do you express mass dimension formula as uh, M1, L0, T0 because other, <coughs> other, 
other physical quantity for us will be zero, so that it is zero. Similar way, length. Now, if I take length dimension formula, you know, length dimension formula m zero l power one p e power one. Similar manner, acceleration. No, sorry, time. What is that? Time. Time is m zero l zero. Sorry, I am doing wrong. Sir. Here I done wrong. It is p power zero. It is p power one. Now, other other dimension formulas. Other dimension formulas. What? What are the other units? Temperature. If I take temperature, the temperature dimension formula is m zero l zero p power zero k power one. Why I added this k here because even this temperature also fundamental quantity. So here dimension formula is nothing but expressing all physical quantities in the in terms of fundamental quantities. But why I am showing only three? You can show more than three also, not a show. But if you show all the quantities, all the quantities, it is a big gulf. I mean, it is right to very difficult. So to keep it in short, keep it in short, we are writing only three or four. We are taking only three or four fundamental quantities. <coughs> yeah. Next, uh, temperature. After the temperature, you can take uh, <coughs> amount of substance. Amount of substance. <coughs> that is m zero l zero p zero mole power one. So this is your dimension formula because mole is a unit for amount of substance. Similar manner, what are the remaining things? What are the remaining units? What are the remaining physical quantities? Latter amount of substance, luminous intensity. You can take. Luminous intensity. Luminous intensity value is. You can take this way. M zero, L zero, P zero, I power. Luminous intensity you can take C D, C D power one. This is the way you can express. C D why C D here? C D is actually candle is a unit for luminous intensity. To represent, I have shown that way. And next, uh, one more unit. We completed length, time, temperature, amount of substance, luminous intensity, current. Current. What is this current uh, dimension formula? M zero, L zero, T zero, I power one. This is the way you can express dimension formula for fundamental quantities. And last and final physical quantity. Is there any missing term? We completed amount of substance, luminous intensity. Next one is what? Temperature also we completed. See once again. So what are the terms we missed here? Current we completed, luminous intensity, mass, length, time, temperature, amount of substance, current, luminous intensity. All seven done. Right? Yeah, see here also, mass, length, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So totally seven fundamental quantities completed. So this is what your topic for today. So in the next class, we will discuss with other topic. I hope you have understood. Keep practice. Bye bye.